Welcome to the Novigo's first lecture on SAP Transportation Management Practice Course. In this lecture, we cover Introduction to SAP TM. The purpose of this lecture is to provide an introduction to SAP Transportation Management. By the end of this lecture, you will understand the advantage of SAP as a transportation management solution. You will be familiar with the parties involved in a transportation cycle and their interaction. You will learn about the component of SAP TM and their major functionality. Let's talk about some SAP TM's advantages. SAP TM is an end-to-end -end transportation solution built on a future-proof platform. SAP TM extends existing functionalities and it is geared toward the shipper and LSP industries. SAP TM is highly usable, has a solid architecture, and can manage multiple transportation process variations. SAP TM focuses on end-to-end -end business scenarios, such as domestic and international inbound and outbound logistics. SAP TM enables customers to continue to leverage their existing SAP investment. SAP TM enables cross-enterprise collaboration with customers, suppliers, and business partners via enterprise services. So in this slide, you can see the four uh, parties involved in transportation scenarios. I start from the shipper. The shipper is a party that requires the movement of the product between two points in the supply chain. LSP or logistics service provider is a party that organizes transport of product or cargo. Carrier, carriers sell transportation services to their customers and have the obligation to execute the transportation with their own assets and transportation resources and customer is a recipient of a good service or product from a seller vendor or supplier now i would like to show you how all parties in one transportation cycle integrate with each other we have two major transportation scenarios in sap tm lsp scenarios and shipper scenarios this slide covers lsp scenarios meaning we have a third party logistics service provider to manage and organize our shipments. Everything starts with a customer and placing an order. Then the shipper does order acceptance, shipment proposal, and shipment placement through their SAP ERP system. Then the logistics operations need to be done in SAP TM. As you can see, LSP does all logistics operations, which are order management, freight planning, tendering and subcontracting, execution and monitoring, and settlement. And at the end, we can see the carrier, which has its own sets of activities. After performing tendering and subcontracting by LSP, the carrier starts his tasks by doing booking management, capacity planning, execution and monitoring, and settlement. This slide, however, covers a shipper scenario, meaning there is no LSP or third-party logistics service provider to organize and manage the transportations. Shipper has to do all of the logistics operations. Logistics operations network can be divided into five major steps. The first step is order management. In this step, the company captures and receives logistical requirements. Next is freight planning. The company assign goods to containers or trailers. They select the best mode, schedule, and optimal density of loads. Then, the company has to do tendering and subcontracting. They select best choice carriers and they collaborate with the subcontractors. The next step is execution and monitoring. This step is closely dependent to another SAP module called SAP EM or event management. In this step, the company uh, checks if freight orders are ready for execution. They also track the status of execution. The last step is settlement. The company calculates the rate and price for carrier service and also they distribute cost allocation to items and shipments. This is the scenario which we work on throughout our course. Our company produces and exports chemical products we build containers on our plant and send them overseas to our customers. In this scenario, our goal is to send those containers to the port of discharge. In order to do that, we have two options. 
we can use port of loading 1 or port of loading 2. We choose the port of loading while we are in the planning stage and by considering the schedules. We talk about schedules later on in this course. As you can see, our transportation network has two stages. Stage 1 or pre-carriage, which is a road leg and will be done by trucks. And stage 2 or main carriage, which is an ocean leg and will be done with ships. I have prepared some exercises based on the lecture we just went through. Exercise number one, list three advantages of the SAP TM solution. Exercise number two, is it possible to have SAP TM if our customer is using a third party ECC solution? Exercise number three, what are the major differences between shipper and LSP scenarios? In this slide, you can see the answers for those questions.